Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abna and I'm a Ghanaian based medical student. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a clinical year haul of all the stuff that I've got for my fourth year of medical school. Bear in mind, these are stuff I haven't used yet. We are now about to start our clinical year, but I just want to show you the things that I've bought so far. These are things that were recommended to me by my seniors and some of my lectures. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I've grouped the stuff into books, accessories, equipment, and clothing. So I'll just be showing you these stuff, starting with the books. So first on the list of things you need for your clinical year is a logbook. I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but I am in University of Ghana Medical School, and this is the logbook that they give us for our clinical year. You don't pay for this. I think it comes with your school fees. So you just go and pick it up when it's time to pick up. And what this does is it helps your supervisors track your process. So I'm not too sure how it works, but basically I did my nursing um, skills rotation last week and this is what it looks like. So you just fill in the things you have to do and then they sign it at the end of the day to make sure you were present and you did all the tasks you were supposed to complete. So yes, you definitely need this for your clinical year. The second item on my list is the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine. So this is just a little book that that has summaries of everything you need in your medical rotation. I think it will be very helpful to have with you around the ward so that you can pick it up and refer easily to whatever section you're looking for. It's also color coded so that you can easily find whatever you're trying to look for. I'll also say that there are PDFs or soft copies of all these books I'm about to show you. I just decided to buy hard copies of some of the books because I don't know, I just thought it would be easier to like have a hard copy that I can highlight, make notes in and stuff like that. But I'll definitely drop the link to um, the soft copies of these books if I find them. The next book I got is the Browser's Introduction to Symptoms and Signs of Surgical Disease. This is what the book looks like. And I got the fifth edition. I think this is the most current edition. If it's not, then you should probably get whatever edition is current. The third book I got, <laughs> the third book I got is the Bailey and Lamps Short Practice of Surgery. So this will obviously be for my surgery rotation. And yeah, I got the volume two and the 27th edition. I also think this is the most recent edition. If it's not, then again, get the most recent one. The last book I got, guys, I don't know how I'm going to read this book because it's, it's heavy. Like, it's so heavy. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's a very thick book. So this book is for medicine. So I wanted to get a book for surgery and a book for medicine. I got the 21st edition, but I think there's a more current edition, so when you're looking for it, make sure to pick up that copy. And I'd like to say that I got all my books from either EPP Bookstore Aligon or the Kingdom Bookstore Aligon. But if you're like me and you're in University of Ghana, you could definitely find some of these books in the Kingdom Bookshop at Kolibu. Yeah, I don't think I should be telling you the prices of the books because the way the economy is, by the time you go and buy it, it's not the same price, so there's no point. But I would say the prices range between like 100 and 300 or 300 and something. Okay, so now to the accessories. So I, I'm just going to show you two things. And I got these solely because I got textbooks so that I could, you know, um, find stuff that I'm looking for in the textbook easier, I guess, and then highlight important points. So I got a pack of four highlighters from Kingdom Bookstore. Yeah. As you can see, I've removed two of them, so they are backwards. But I just wanted to show you that it's a pack of four. And then I got sticky notes. Sticky notes. I got these smaller ones, but maybe I might go back and pick up bigger ones. I got the smaller ones so you know, mark. Basically, mark at the edge of the book like this. So that like I can label it and know that, oh, this page is for a particular thing I might want to find. So the next thing I'm going to be moving to are the equipment you need. So first of all, you're supposed to get a diagnostic kit for your physical examinations. So you can buy all these things separately, but I found this set on 
I'll link the page because I can't remember where exactly I found it, but it's a shop in the US. It basically has everything um, the fifth and sixth year said we should get. Everything is matte black, which I love. So when I saw this set, I just had to get it. And I'll just take everything out and show you guys individually so that you know what you're supposed to get. So the first thing is a pen torch, which looks like this. All these things are for um, clinical examinations, by the way. And you guys have probably seen this, that, you know, they shine into your eye. Yeah, so it's just a little pen torch. And you also need this. This is a patella hammer and it's used for to check your tendon reflexes, I believe. But yeah, guys, I'm just started using all of these things, but so don't quote me. But yeah, this is a patella hammer. And then I got this scissors. And I got tune and fork. So we were told to get two different frequencies. And this is 512 and 128. So this is just what they look like. Again, I'll link where I got these stuff from in the description. And then I got a measuring tape as well. Okay. How do I put this back? Oh, <laughs> see me discovering how to use my stuff on camera, but yeah, so it's like this. And if you want it back, it's so cool. Um, I'm not too sure if we need this, I can't remember if it was part of the stuff we were told to get, but this set I got came with a Snellen's chart. So if you wear glasses like me, you've seen this a lot, and you probably hate it because I really hate getting my eyes checked because i can never see these letters and then i feel so bad that i can't see them but anyways this is a snellens pocket eye chart okay so the next equipment is something i'm very excited about guys i'm so excited to have one of these i got a stethoscope um so i got this stethoscope from med rocks um she's in university of ghana medical school as well it's a long story how I ended up getting my stethoscope from there, but I actually ordered one off of Amazon, but there were problems with the delivery, so I had to get a different one. And I do love this because the first one that I got was black. It was black with a rainbow finish. And I only got that because when I asked my friends if they think I, I should get a pink stethoscope, they were like, oh no, it's too bright, all of that. But I'm here to tell you that Get the stethoscope you want because you will use this maybe for the rest of your life like you don't stop using your stethoscope as a medical school that will probably be the same stethoscope you'll be practicing with so get one that you like and i got one that i like i love it <laughs> i'm so happy but guys yeah i'll show you guys my stethoscope it's so pretty but yeah let me show you guys so this is the litzman classic 3 because that's what is recommended by my school there are different types of stethoscope but if you're in university of ghana and i think any other medical school in ghana to be honest you should make sure you're getting the litzman class i don't know if you guys can see yet yeah. the litzman classic 3 stethoscope or if that is not what is re recommended by your university just make sure you're getting the stethoscope that is recommended my stethoscope was 650 cds because i went for this is what it looks like so when you open it it has like the i'm looking down because i'm looking at myself to make sure i'm in frame with everything i'm showing you but yeah it comes with a little booklet and this is the stethoscope guys this is so pretty so i'll tell you exactly what i got because in, in case you want to get the same thing because it's very nice I got the raspberry gold plated rainbow finish rainbow finish um stethoscope so as you can see it has like a rainbow finish and then it's gold and then the whole stethoscope is just raspberry i love it so much i think i think it's so pretty i think it's the prettiest stethoscope ever and i'm so happy i got the chance to get this stethoscope I, again i got it from med rocks and it was 650 cds yeah so moving on to your clothing so when you go to the wards you are supposed to wear scrubs if you don't have scrubs you can wear official by the way i'm talking about this in terms of my school but it might be different in your school but basically i'm supposed to wear scrubs like what i'm wearing or you can wear official wear like a skirt with a shirt or trousers with a shirt 
and shoes with a lab coat so official wear with a lab coat or your scrubs and i got my scrubs from a place called dagachi in the us i'll put the link in my description but there are lots of places you can get it from if you're in ghana or um you can get it from walmart in america or yeah there are quite a number of places you can get your scrubs from just be looking and you could get different colors for my school you could get any color any color is accepted you could even get like um african prints designs in your scrubs you can put your name on it and stuff like that the next thing you'll be needing on the wards are a pair of these so these are just my regular crocs that i wear every day but i'm also going to get um a pair for clinicals probably a black pair which can match with like all my scrubs yeah um you can wear um crocs or you could also wear sneakers maybe black sneakers white sneakers but i think even if you have sneakers you should definitely get crocs because they are very comfortable and you're going to be standing for long hours okay you're going to be standing you're going to be walking and i think if you have crocs with a pair of socks it will be more comfortable than if you have sneakers or you could also just get really really comfortable sneakers so there are also some things that i haven't got but um i'll put on the screen so you should get the badger surgery book people are stomping so much in this place bruh why do they keep going up and down you should get the badger book for surgery i actually wish i got that book but i'll just download the pdf but apparently it's really helpful for your surgical rotation and um, you could also get Hutchison's and you could get Macleoids as well. And for your stethoscope, yes, I'm bringing out my stethoscope again to show you guys how pretty it is. But you should get a case for your stethoscope. I'll definitely get that. I haven't got that yet. I'll put what it looks like on the screen so you guys can see. But yes, guys, so these are the things that I got for my clinical year. And I think you should get to at the end of the year. I'll do a review of the stuff that I got to see if they were helpful or not. So if it's just a waste of money, you don't have to get it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and drop a comment. So I know what you think of this video. And you could also leave video suggestions. It doesn't just have to be medical school related. It could also be lifestyle related. Now see you in my next video. Bye.